Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I want to talk to you about The Center, Season 4, Episode 2. It is a review and recap. So, a lot is going on. They're still investigating, trying to find where's Percy. Okay, so the police continue to look for Percy's body in the water. Ranskin is unsure on which leads to follow. But Ranskin, you know, he is the island's sheriff. And he's a little... I'm going to say he's a little, um, he's not seasoned with this type of stuff, with these murders, okay? So, um, Ranskin and Harry learned that CJ's, CJ Lamb's fingerprints were found inside Percy's car. Now, the Lambs, they formerly worked for the Muldoons, but started their own fishing operation, becoming direct competitors to Meg and her family. So, of course, they are... You know, those two don't get along. Harry and Ranskin speak with CJ, who insists that he did not see Percy on Saturday night that she disappeared. Right? He claims that the fingerprints could be from a couple of months ago when Percy gave him a ride home. Excuse me. He also claims to have been at the restaurant, you know, on that day as well. But they will find out that he's lying. All right, so after um, Ranskin and Harry leave, CJ looks at pictures of Percy on his laptop. And child, he's looking at the pictures, he's deleting pictures, and then he starts going to town on his Pink Panther. Okay, so y'all know what I mean by that. Um, Harry talks to Diaz, or Dees, I think they're calling him, I think, I think they're pronouncing it Dees. In the show, a man who runs a place for junkies, okay, and learns that CJ was at his residence this that past Saturday night, that past Saturday. Um, so Harry and Ranskin then speak with Percy's ex-boyfriend Brandon. So um, he tells you know Ranskin and Harry that CJ has shown aggressive tendencies in the past. Um, with CJ's alibi breached, he is arrested by Ranskin. Well, he's not really arrested. Arrested. They just told him to come down to the station. So he's at the station, and CJ reveals that Percy will often hook up with him and always showed up at his place high. You know, she's like stoned out of her mind. The first time she came to him, she wanted to tell him something, but she didn't reveal what it was. Okay, so before CJ could tell his the whole story what was going on, his father arrives and takes CJ home and tells him that, you know, he does not have to say a word because the lawyer is on, the, you know, the lawyer said don't say nothing. Um, he takes CJ home and as the police only have circumstantial evidence against CJ, the Muldoons learn of CJ's involvement from Ranskin and urge him to arrest CJ and get a confession. See, Ranskin is talking too much to the family. He should not be doing that unless it's necessary. And I think he's doing that because, you know, that the Muldoons are big in that town, and that, on that island. So, um, however, we're going to keep moving on. Ranskin and Harry refuse to do, um, refuse to do so. Um, due to the, you know, lack of incriminating evidence. So, you know, they want him arrested and everything, but they can't because they don't have enough evidence to incriminate him. You know, it's, it's lack of evidence. Um, so later that night, someone attacks CJ. The following morning, the lambs call Ranskin and Harry. They suspect that the Muldoons attacked CJ. And I think so. CJ then agrees to reveal the entire length of his connection to Percy. But only, only to Harry. Okay. Now, <clears throat> towards the episode's end, CJ tells Harry that Percy, Percy got him hooked on drugs and wanted him to hurt her during sexual activity. Um, and honey, if you were sore... If you watch the show, you will see how she was slapping him and hitting him and beating him. So she likes a little bit of that rough stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Percy got her own issues. Percy has issues with her. Um, 
So roughly a year ago, Percy left the island and went to live on the mainland. She had only recently returned before disappearing. So on that night, Percy went missing. CJ met her, met her behind a local club. They had an argument and in rage, CJ expressing, you know, he expressed wanting to hurt Percy. He tried to grab her, but she slipped and she hit her head. But she told her friends, you know, people in the bar that she hit her head on the towel rack. So believe, before leaving, Percy exclaimed, um, you know, Percy, she said that she wanted to explain everything to CJ. She was walking up to the um, bar and she turned around and she said, I want to tell you everything, but I don't think she got the chance to tell him everything. But someone wouldn't allow her. Now, there's something really weird going on in this island, and I think the Muldoons are part of it. And I think Percy... Um, is trying to get away from the Muldoons. Her family is the Muldoons. I think they are into some type of some type of stuff, and she don't want to be a part of it. She wants to get out of it, or they want her to join, and she does not. Okay, so now we see who was naked in the woods because Harry was talking with some, you know, um, his girlfriend and her friend, you know, outside. And he looked at her. He saw a woman walk past. And he looked. And he went towards her and said, hey, I I think I saw you swimming. And she starts laughing. <laughs> you know, swimming? No. But it was her. It was. I thought it was the grandmother. But now that I look at her, I think it was her. Okay. Um, so it is unclear from her. It is unclear whom Percy is talking about, but it's likely the same person seen threatening her on the CCTV footage from the night. It also never explained what Percy wanted to tell CJ, but could have something to do with her obsession with the lunar goddess and her voodoo-like activities. Okay, one of the items Harry found in the woods originally belonged to CJ, hinting that whatever Percy was hiding was to protect CJ. Now, I think Meg, Meg is Percy's grandmother. I think she's lying about something because she let it slip. So, as it's getting ready to go off, you know, the last end of the the show, Harry confronts Meg and her hiding, about her hiding um, that Percy left the island a year ago. So the two, they start arguing, have like a little argument and Meg claimed that CJ is dangerous. She lets slip that she saw the cut on Percy's head before storming off. Now, however, according to Meg's earlier statement, she last saw Percy on Saturday night after her shift at 5 p.m. So Miss Meg done told a little lie and it slipped. The injury to Percy's head occurred much later that night. Hmm. So, therefore, Meg has no way of knowing about the injury. Now, Ranskin insists that he didn't tell Meg about it because Harry asked him, how did she know? Did you tell her about this, the cut on her head? And he said, no, he did not say anything. He did not tell Meg nothing. So, how, how would she know unless she saw Percy, right? Okay. So, this only this leaves... And one possible explanation is that Meg saw Percy again that night before she went missing. Hmm. The Muldoons are definitely hiding something and they're trying to blame Percy's disappearance on the lambs. But why? I know the, I know that the lambs are in competition or they're competitors because they have their own fishing company, you know, stuff like that. But why would you harm your relative and then blame it on CJ? So more is about to unravel. Things are about to, you know, come to a head, which is it's it's getting pretty good, you know. Um, if you still have not checked out this show, I think you should. Bill Pullman, he is getting a little bit too old for this stuff, you know, because you can tell what things irritate him and that 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 famous squint that he does when he's unsure or he seems confused about something i love that but um 
I don't know if season four is going to be his last because he's he's retired already. But now he's out. He came out of retirement to help. You know the island chief, um, chief of police, with this case, and God knows Ranskin needs all the help that he can get from Harry. But um, I think the Muldoons are hiding something, and I think they're trying to blame it on the Lambs for whatever reason. So we will know more when. Episode 3, Part 3, comes on next week. And I think it comes on October 27th. Alright, so that's my review. That's, well, that's my recap. It's a really good show. I think you guys should check it out. You will like it. I'm not going to tell you no BS. You will like it. Okay? Alright. So, with that being said, you guys have a great night or a great day whenever you watch this. And I will talk to you guys later.